All right, so I spent like $23 at the dollar store and I have here a full face of makeup. So I'm just curious to see if this will actually look acceptable or if I'm going to look insane and if there might be some products in here that are actually things I might want to like buy again. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off and start anew with all this stuff that's probably gonna make me break out but it'll be fun so there we go <laughs> all right looking rough the dollar tree if you don't frequent it does not carry a very broad range of products for makeup, let alone a uh, shade range. So some of the things I bought were kind of just like, I was the only one I had to get it. So yeah, um, I'm gonna use my own brushes because I think that's the only way to give them these products a fair shot and be looking halfway decent. So I'm gonna use my own brushes and my own primer because there was no primer at the Dollar Tree. Let's go with that. So I got to put my hair. What is this? Put some primer on and uh, we'll get right into her. The first thing I'll put on then is the foundation that I found, which is this. It's Color Mates in the shade Light. The only other option I had was in the shade Dark or Medium in this product. And there was another product that was Liquid Foundation, which I would have preferred, but it was a uh, like 10 shades too dark for me, so not trying to do that. Okay, open this thing. Okay, so here's my cream foundation. Um, it looks like it might be an okay color for being one of three colors that the store carried. It's got a little spongy in there. It smells like old lady perfume but a faint, like it's almost enjoyable. It's not too bad. So I think I'm just gonna use my fingers to dot it on and I'll buff it out with a brush. So. It's really creamy. I kind of expect it to be kind of waxy and like hard to pick up, but it's really creamy. Maybe a little too light for me, actually. <laughs> it looks so dark on the sponge and it's so light on my face. I'm just gonna get a brush and start buffing it in. It actually, like, coverage-wise, doesn't look bad except for the fact that I'm like, looks sickly because it's so light. Yeah, this isn't, kind of sounds like burnt hair. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> this will just be my whole neck pale. I look like a freaking vampire. Oh my god. <sighs> just get everybody in there. I feel like I need to get my beauty blender and try to try to buff it out a little bit more. All right, so I just got my my beauty blender damp, but I'm just gonna try to make sure it's blended in as good. Oh, it's taking it off. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Dry it off. <laughs> Back to this method. Okay, I kind of feel like that's as good as it's gonna get. The next thing I will do is LA Colors Cream Contour, which I have actually heard of this brand before, so I feel like that's a little more promising. I don't really want to say that, but so it's got a little stick here. I think I got the shade medium, so I'm going to go all out and like tread to my nose 
which probably will be difficult because I'd usually blend it out with a beauty blender and that's not going to work because this is going to take off the foundation. So, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to see. Hmm. Kind of a weird color for a contour. A little too warm, I think. But I'm just going to do it everywhere that I would normally do it. It's one more to know a little bit. It's kind of a weird... The foundation's like coating the, the stick. I'm gonna try to clean some of that off so I can get some more. I'm really hesitant to do my nose, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. I always go like that, and then I flick it all a little bit at the bottom and make a little shadow like that, and I do a little like that. That just rub it all off. Be more gentle. I wish you could smell this. It smells like um baby powder and mothballs. <laughs> Which apparently is a, a smell I associate with old ladies. I'm just gonna let Lily sort of blend that in without making it disappear completely because it's not very pigmented. That doesn't look terrible. I think I did warm me up a little bit, but not enough. <laughs> what I would usually do now is go in with a lighter shade on my nose and kind of like go like this. So I'm just going to do that with my foundation. The next product I have is this pressed powder. There's no loose, there's no such thing as Dollar Tree setting powder, I don't think. But this brand is kind of cute, and I got a few other products from them. I think the packaging is a little more like modern, like it's like a new Dollar Tree item. So yeah, this color is in latte, which to me sounds like it would be a dark color, but it was like the lightest color they had. Oh. It's actually pretty velvety, it smells like nothing, which is great. I don't think powder should smell like anything. I have the Cody Airspun powder and I cannot use it because it smells like a bad smell that I don't wanna smell. I'm just gonna treat this as a setting powder and I'm just gonna swirl it around and I don't know, try to set this like face paint we put on. <laughs> it's actually making the foundation look a little better because it's a little darker than the foundation. Okay, that powder helped me feel a little bit better about myself because at least it's not sticky anymore. Anyway, eyebrows. They had a bunch of like eyebrow pencils, but I almost feel like that's too easy. So I got the only eyebrow powder and wax that they had. It's from the same little cute brand. So... Yeah, I guess we'll see. I'm destroying this box because you can't return stuff to the Dollar Tree, so it's not like it really matters. It's a huge box for this. I will say off the bat that this has a wax. Okay, it's not very sticky, but it will probably do. And this darker shade and this lighter shade, this darker shade has sparkles in it. Not sure if you can see that, but it definitely does. I'm just going to dip into this wax and dip into this. I feel like neither of these are really the right color, but I'm just gonna do the darker one and start trying to do my eyebrow. So. Okay, so far, 
except for the color being not really right, it's not bad. Okay, the more I work with this product, the weirder it is. I feel like it's leaving like a, a chunky like gloss. Maybe I'm using too much wax. So I'm just gonna go back in and cause I made this one a little darker than this one and not use more wax and just use some more powder. weird color but they're eyebrows and they're better than my face without eyebrows so man this keeps creasing I have to remain expressionless oh uh, yeah so I usually carve my eyebrows out with some concealer so I guess I will try to do that I'll just use the foundation again yeah this looks like pink in the pan that's probably why it looks so wrong because I have a yellow undertone not pink. <laughs> okay, that's as good as they're gonna get. Moving on. <laughs> now that the skin and the brows are out of the way, I feel like the rest of these products should be a little more promising, like bronzer, blush, my shadow, I could be totally wrong. But I actually like this. Like the color of it looks cute. So I already know how this packaging works. I'll do a swatch for you guys. Oh, it's actually kind of pigmented. <laughs> so Okay, and it's actually kind of, I don't know, you can't really see, but it's kind of pretty. It's got like some shimmer in it, gold shift, is that what people say? I don't know. I'm just going to pick some up and cap some off because I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot. And I just go under the apple of my cheek. And I'm going to blend it out. Why do you always have to smile to put blush on? It's like, hi. The next thing I have is a powder contra palette from the same brand, again. But like I said, there weren't that many options. So I got what I could. This color is called Biscotti. That's a cheekbone right there. <laughs> Please. So I was being like really dramatic, I would go like this. That's not working, but. There we go, kind of like reinforce my contour. But uh, anyway. That contour looks kind of insane. <laughs> I have to remember it's from the Dollar Tree. I also have like a drag queen's contour right now, so maybe I should try to <laughs> blend that out a little bit. Okay, I just smudged my effing eyebrow though. I'll be honest, this next step, I'm not particularly looking forward to. But it's got to be done in its eyeshadow. I got the same little brand. Beauty Benefits Hollywood Shadow Trio. And they didn't really have any colors that like spoke to me in any way. So I got this. It's got a shimmery light shade, a sparkly brown, and then oh, looks like this is sparkly too. Uh, maybe matte. Matte purple. And I'm just going to try to create a pretty basic look that like if you just saw me, you'd be like, oh, she looks normal. 
So I think I wanted to swatch it first. So let's do all three of them at the same time. So honestly, this one looks a little weak, but these two look nice. I think I'm just gonna do like the brown all over the lid and then do a little highlight with the light one in the center and then do purple on the lower lash line to keep it kind of basic and hopefully look acceptable. It's in there, here. I have the ugliest eyeshadow face, so sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not falling out all over the place. I'm gonna do this on this side and blend it up a little bit and then add the highlight color. say I'm kind of surprised at like the pigment in these it's really not bad and they're not super chalky like how I remember Dollar Tree makeup being like from when I was like a, a child <laughs> so I'm kind of impressed with this for a dollar not bad not like the most inspirational colors to work with but you know, take what we can get. Okay. What I would usually do is just take my finger to do this part. That's not awful. super like blinding or anything but it's a cream shimmer I feel like this looks acceptable just gonna get in there with this little brush tap some off and go on the lower lash line I think I need a little more and I'll just blend it out like smoke it out Blend it up into the brown a little bit. I think this is kind of a look. I like it. <laughs> this is what I do whenever I do my lower lash line. I don't know why. It's like Popeye. <laughs> so I'm now realizing I don't have liner for my waterline. I got this Aziza black liquid liner so my my waterline's gonna have to stay naked because i'm not putting liquid eyeliner in it i've done it before you want to know what happens it just goes right into your eyeball this is definitely not really like i wouldn't call it a brush it's more like a stick but it's going on fine so I'm just not going to talk, I'm going to concentrate and try to make this work. So honestly, this is um, kind of dried up on the inside. I'm having a hard time doing it in that mirror, so I'm just gonna try to do it off camera. So, wish me luck. I think I was able to get them semi-even. I did get a little speck of eyeliner right here. But instead of smearing that, I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'll just try to scratch it off. But I think 
do okay. This one is up a little bit higher, but you know, my face isn't symmetrical, so it's fine. How about some mascara? I got Wet n' Wild mascara, which I think will be fine. I don't think there's gonna be anything wrong with it. It smells like mascara. It's really skinny wine. I don't think it's gonna do much. It's putting colors on my eyelashes, but they're stuck together. And they're not really getting voluminized. Voluminized. It's a word. Yeah, this mascara is a dollar for a reason. This is the worst product thing I've tried so far, except for the foundation. Okay, so I have three different lash options. I have some that probably look fine. They're wet and wild. And they look like really fake, but they like look fine. And I have these Colormate ones that are just long and thick. But I have these, they're kind of spiky, which is a style that I really, really like. So I'm gonna use these. And I kind of forgot which one was on which eye. I think they're the same. Yeah, they don't taper on any one direction. So, man, these smell weird. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the glue that came with it and hope that my eyes don't get hurt from it. <laughs> in it. Okay, that's good. And I'll let that dry. And then what I would usually do is put some glue right on my like lash line so it sticks easier. So I'm going to do that and I really hope this glue is safe for doing that. I always just go like right here. Okay, don't get it in your eye. Important note. And I need more glue. Here it is. This little nugget. I think it is literally enough glue for one application. I'm um, not sure if that's normal, but I just squeeze some out. It's like all frothy and it's all bubbled up. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that's not normal, but put it on your eye. I really hate this mascara I put on. Anyway, I'm gonna let this uh, get tacky and then I'll try to pop them on. But I always apply my lashes like this. Make sure we can see me. Just to get in the center. And then grab a corner. And get it right down where it's supposed to be. And then I get the inner corner. So that where it's supposed to be. And for being a really thick banded, you just went on not too bad. I did mess up my eyeliner. I'll fix it though. These are so heavy. I feel like they're like Miss Piggy eyelashes. <laughs> but I actually like like the spikiness of them. So I'm kind of kind of like them. What do you call this when you do this? Okay, one thing I am excited about that I hope doesn't let me down is this little highlighting duo. It's got two different colors. One is like a golden color, one's pinkish. I'll swatch them both. I think these will actually go because the blush was good. So there they are. 
Here's the swatch. So based on the swatch, I think that the pinkish one would be more like dramatic, but this one, the other one is like a better color for like the look I've done. Maybe I'll just use a little bit of both. Couldn't hurt. Just gonna dip into that one and dip into that one. And go right here. So that's definitely done something like compared to nothing. Something there. Wish I had some spray to spray this with, but they didn't have anything like that. The Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna highlight all the high points of my face like I normally would with a regular highlighter. Okay, this pink one's definitely where it's at. So I'm just gonna pile some more of that on here. I always go up a little bit. And then I always go like this. Blend out a little bit. My face looks dirty. <laughs> I always put some right here, my temple, right above my eyebrow. And then I'll do that on the other side too. I think it's called that good, and I actually like this. It kind of went like nuts with lip stuff. I have four different products. So I have this gloss that has like a reddish pink tint to it, which I don't think this would look really great with my eye look, but I wanted to try it. I don't know. Then I have from LA Colors two glosses. This is just a clear gloss that I wanted like for normal looks, because I think clear gloss, you can't really get a fancy one. And this one is a glossy, um, it's got like some sparkles in it, like a light pink. And then I also got a liquid lipstick from the same brand. Apparently this brand is just like Dollar Tree's mm -hmm. jam. But I think what I should use is this lipstick, because it is a darker color. And then maybe I'll put one of these glosses over top. I'm sorry, but this highlight, I like it. This contour is not perfect, but this highlight, this is like a little little guy. My lips are kind of chapped, but whatever. Um, this one is Beauty Benefits brand again, and it's in the color Brick. So let's see. It smells kind of nice. It smells kind of like Vanilla, but like fake vanilla or like plasticky vanilla, like when a children's toy is supposed to smell like vanilla, like one of those dolls that has scents. <laughs> That's what it smells like. I'm thinking I should have got a lip liner now. And I also don't really like this color with my eye. So it's not like the the creamiest formula by any means. Hair. And I really doubt that's going to dry down matte based on how this feels. Okay, so it's not uncomfortable, but it's definitely like a gloss. I swear that it said it was going to be matte. Yeah, it says matte finish right here. There's no way, but I'll wait a few minutes and see if it dries. If it doesn't, I think I might just try one of these glosses on its own because I don't think I can really put a gloss over this that's already so wet. So I'll just wait a little while and BRB. We'll see. Okay, it's been only like five minutes but there is just no way this is going to dry down it's it's wet so i think i'm just going to go ahead and take it off because i don't love the color and i have other options so i'm gonna take it off see not matte It 
It's kind of disappointing. But it was a dollar. So I'm just gonna put some on. So it smells like nothing. It tastes like nothing. So it just feels like Vaseline on my lips, which is like not unpleasant. You know what? Gross. But I don't want to take this off again, but I have this gloss. I'm going to, I'm going to try it. I can get my blush on. Where did my blush go? Just like disappeared. Okay, this one is called Just Kissed and it smells really good. Like fruit. Like fruity gum. Like zebra stripe gum. That's what I'm getting. So. This one has less pigment than the other one, but I think I like it better. Like the shimmer. Yeah, that's way prettier than the other thing. The other lipstick. Okay. All right, that does it. So I'm gonna do something with my hair and I'll be right back. All right, here's the final look. I am not mad at it, honestly. I mean, the foundation was the only thing that I absolutely hated. But honestly, for all being in the Dollar Tree, I'm totally fine with how this looks. I don't know if it would look as good in natural light, but up close you can kind of see like this. I have put powder on that so many times. I'm like right here. What's this? I'm not sure. But uh, I think there are actually a couple products in here that I wouldn't mind like keeping and using. Thank you so much for watching my video, my second video ever. And hopefully you'll be back when I put my third one out. If not, I'll still be here. That's fine. But yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully you have a lovely evening and I'll see you later, alligator.